We are now at uh, Nukyan Tires here in Oslo. Well, it's Lillestrøm, it's right outside of Oslo. And uh, today I will get some uh, Nukyan summer tires on MC Hammer. So they're going to take off these uh, high fly tires. Uh, actually, the main reason why I don't, don't use these high fly tires is that uh, the speed rating for it is uh, actually below the, requ the, the required. So it's, uh, it's W, which is 270. And by specification, the car needs Y, which is 300 kilometers per hour. And now we'll get Hakka Black 2, which is 300 kilometers per hour, summer tires. So yes, I'm eager to test them also. But we'll also take a little, well, it's, it's almost a factory tour around here, yes. Uh, all right, so this is one of the, let me see, what, which one was this again? Uh, it was the, the, right, the right front wheel. And um, supposedly there are way too many weights here. So, you know, I've been complaining about these tires uh, in the previous video that uh, they are not round or they are not ba in balance. So, uh, hopefully we get the, <laughs> supposedly you're not supposed to do it like this. Uh, you, will ha you should have less weight and then actually try to rotate. Just move the, the tire according to the whim to get better balance. But okay, we'll see afterward how it is. So uh, today I have these two as my guides here at Nokia Tires. So can you just get into your yourself? Yeah, sure. My name is Kjetil Dressel. I'm a product manager here in uh, Nokia Deck in, Vil in uh, Norway. And my, uh, my uh, warehouse manager also. Yes, I'm Ramses Bonherad Jr. I'm the warehouse manager in Nokia Tires in Norway. Hmm. So we're, we're glad to have you here. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, sorry for the noise, by the way. Uh, you see, we have a full, uh, full production line here <laughs> right now. Uh, so can you tell me a little bit uh, what, what's going on over here then? Yeah, we are producing all the all the complete wheels for, for the, the the car importers in Norway. We have the tires and rims coming in on that side, and then we uh, mount the, the the tires on the rims and then the balance balance the tires, and then we uh, get them ready for, for packing and shipping on on this side. You no, know, I I recognize these uh, these rims. They are for e-tron, right? Yeah, that's true. Ah, so okay, so Audi also uses Nokian. Yeah, absolutely. We have we produce uh, complete wheels for almost all the car importers in Norway. So we have you can find everything from e-tron to uh, Tesla's to anything here. Yeah. Oh, and also yeah, Tesla is also one of the one of the um, uh, partners, or how do you call it? Yeah, that's one of our main customers. Absolutely. We produce a lot of uh, complete wheels for both uh, Model S, Model X, and also Model Three now. Uh, we have we had uh, our biggest production during this autumn, where we had uh, I think it was 2,800 complete wheels produced in, in one day. That was for of course for uh, for model model three when that came. And on an average, I think we produce about a thousand complete wheels every day. So that's also during the low season. Uh, that, that is, this is actually low season for us. Hmm. Well, can we take a look at the tires? Yeah, sure. Yeah, come. We have them over here. Okay, so here's, here is the Hakka Black 2 tires. Um, yeah, what should we say about them? Uh, if we compare them to the high fly tires, well, the high fly are pretty new. I haven't used them that much. Uh, so they, they seem to be similar, except that, well, what do you think? Uh, uh, what I can see, or what I can at least visually see, is that the, the, the inside uh, edge of the, of the tire, of the, of the contact pattern, uh -huh. and also the outside edge is, is, is wider. And we also have the polished grooves to reduce the, the, the friction between the, wire, the, the water and, and, and the tire while driving. Yeah, this seems really smooth. Yeah. What, what is the purpose of these grooves here? Those these grooves channels? are for, for collecting the water between the, the road surface and the tire and also to, to remove it so that it, it's, it, uh, you get it away from the tire so that you don't aquaplane okay. while driving. So we have them here also, right? These, yeah, these ones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, they have a, have a smaller edge on the side, so they, you get. I will probably I will estimate that you will have better s uh, sideways stability in Hakka Black 2 uh -huh. than you get in these. Yeah, and, and these are kind of. It looks kind of cheap that you, know, you have just remains from the production here. Yeah, that spill off from spill. when you're when you're uh, when you're uh, heating up the tire during. The you see everywhere, but uh, at least on on this one, there is not that visible. This is just for. Uh, uh, what is this one? Uh, These are for showing when when the tire is is worn out, when when uh, when the tread pattern is is too slow, then you you need to replace them. They, they are slicks then. Yeah, yeah then there's uh, there's uh, then you have, you don't have any any, any of the original. Uh, properties in the tires left. Okay, uh, what are these uh, small dots here? There's tiny dots. 
That's something side. we call uh, silent groove design. That is for disturbing the, the airflow uh, in the main grooves when, when you're not driving in water, of course. If you, if you don't have these, we experience that you get what we call an organ sound. Okay. Uh, it sounds like a... a whistling or Yeah, whistling humming? sound. Yeah, that's oh. true. Uh, so having these, it, they're, they're formed the same way as, uh, as the surface of a golf ball to, to, to create turbulence <laughs> in, the, in oh. the wind and the, in the air. Well, I will find out when I measure the noise on them. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay, but uh, this is cool, so I will get this on. Um, so then I want to see, uh, you guys have a big storage also. Yeah, of course, we have a huge storage. We, on an average, I think we have 100,000 tires at uh, any given point, so we can go and have a look if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is the storage, and it's just lots and lots of tires here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I said, I think we have about 100,000 tires here at the moment also. Wow. Um, just as a, as a curiosity, you can see on, the, on our left-hand side, we have uh, tires from Model S. Wow, lots of them. Yeah, lots of them. We have, uh, we have more than more than enough for uh, for the time being. So, uh, so let's say this stack here. Yeah. This is for model. Can we take a closer look at them? Yeah, sure. So these are winter tires. Uh, does it, do the do Tesla? Do they have some kind of deal uh, uh, deal with you guys? Or I mean, of course we have we have agreements with all the car importers in Norway. So of course we also have that with Tesla. Uh, Tesla owners also have a, an extra benefit that if they purchase the tires along with the car, they don't uh, have to pay tax on them. Ah. So that give, makes it even more uh, beneficial for the, for the Tesla owners. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, I recognize them. When you uh, when you order the car, yeah. you check. You have the checkbox. You want winter tires. Yeah. And then these ones. Yeah. Hock up a little. Oh, it's real. <laughs> That's the one I have. Uh, well, it's uh, similar dimension on MC Hammer yeah. for winter. Uh, so they. So what happens if, if, let's say, Tesla, you order a car, yeah. uh, let's say in winter, yeah. and the people take delivery of the car, so uh, they come with summer tires, right, from from US? Of course, all cars in Norway are delivered on summer tires, but when, when the car, car salesman, they, they, they sell a car, then uh, in this case, Tesla order new winter tires also for along with the car to so that they can deliver the car they, it's not it's not not okay to deliver a car on summer tires during winter in yeah Norway. <laughs> but i heard that happens also <laughs> but and it's then, not the, it seems like the, the problem is not here with the supply <laughs> we have more than enough tires and we also get uh, get shipped uh, uh, rims directly from tesla oh. so that when uh, when the, uh, tesla uh, outlet needs some some winter tires we have already the rims and we have the tires and we just mount them and then Ship it out to the to the to the uh, the destination that they they want the the rims to be delivered to, or the wheels to, to be, be delivered to. Okay, so, so we can we can go and have a look also at uh, at some rims we have in have in storage. Yeah, right. we also have a lot of complete wheels uh, already made, ready for shipping, so mm -hmm. that we have have the shortest delivery time for for Tesla's clients. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we have the what you call it the. F the re manufactured or whatever. These are complete wheels for rear axle for Model X. So here we have already made the, the complete wheels. We take the rims from Tesla and then we take the tires from us and then we mount them together so that when we have a low season we can produce more complete wheels so that we are ready for when, when an outlet sells a car so we can just ship out the, the required wheels for that car. Hmm. What's the, over there also? Yeah, that's also the same. Oh, so you have them ready. I think it's the same dimension. So here you mean we have some some studded tires also ready made. Oh. And here we have some Model Three, uh, okay. complete wheels also ready made. Uh, how many inches? Twenty. Yeah, that's twenty inches. So it's for performance then. Yeah, it is. Ah. And then we have some rims. Wow, <laughs> lots of rims. And then what? we have also even more complete wheels produced even behind there. So uh, these are what kind of rims are these? Uh, for, I think these are for, for Model Three actually. Model Three rims. Yeah, it is. Wow, lots And also of them. we have even more rims upstairs. Up there also? Yeah. Lots of rims. Yeah, we're ready to produce whenever, we, whenever needed. So you have all these stacked up here. So, so uh, does Tesla ship these to you? Or did they own this? Or how did, does it work? Here? Tesla owns the rims and we just mount our tires on them. It depends on the, on the different car importers. But for Tesla we do it that way. Oh. They want to own the rims while, uh, while they're, in, they're in stock. Then we just mount the tires and then we ship it out to the outlets. Oh, okay. Well, ni wow, nice. 
So it means that you you're always ready. You're born yeah. ready. <laughs> We're ready. We know that the, that there's uh, boatloads coming with, uh, for example, Model Threes, and then we need to be able to produce and to ship out large quantities uh, really fast. What well, uh, can you tell when the next boatload will be? <laughs> I think we have some data on that, but I'm, uh, I don't have that information ah, okay. right now. Okay, because when those both loads come, you will be very busy, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> then it will, will be a completely different pace in our warehouse. But uh, we, we manage and we can ship out. Like I said earlier, we can, we can pr produce about 2,800 complete wheels in 24 hours. So we, will, we oh. would uh, be able to ship out a huge load. That's way more, because Tesla can usually manage, uh, I think it was 300 uh, deliveries per day in yeah. Lillestrøm. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you. Well, it's good that uh, you guys are close to uh, <laughs> Tesla, right in Lillestrøm, the delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look at these ones. <laughs> They're crazy. Okay. So, uh, so what, what are these tires for? These are for what we call tractor and just drill tires. So it's uh, it's for for tractors that are go, that go more on the road and not only in fields. We uh -huh. found out that the normal uh, fishbone uh, tractor tires, they get, get really worn when you're driving on the road a lot. Uh -huh. So these are for driving both on the road and, on, and in the fields, but more on the road than in the fields. Yeah. They are huge. Well, I see you have more huge tires here. Wow. I didn't know you guys also delivered for the, for the well, agriculture industry. Yeah, we do. And we deliver a lot for that, for, for that industry as well. Here you can find the, the world's first uh, winter tire for, for, uh, for tractors. Hmm. So here you can see also that we have, we have sighted the tires in, in the same, same way that you see in, in cars for passenger, passenger cars. Wow. And also they're also marked where, where you can put the, put the studs, but that have, has to be drilled before you can, oh, okay. before you can stud the tires. Well, okay, uh, let, let's look at something bigger. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what, huh? what are these tires for? These you can, you can find on that side and also on this side. Okay. That's for uh, harbor uh, trucks. For, for carrying uh, big containers. Wow, and why, why are they shaped like this? That's the most, most efficient pattern, so that you get enough traction. Uh, also, these tires, to, to give even more weight to the, to the different trucks, they drill a hole in them okay. from the top, and then, uh -huh. then they fill them with either water or some other liquid to, to make the, 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 the container lifter even more heavy, so that it doesn't tip over when you're lifting, lifting the big, uh, big containers. Wait, so do you have water in the tire? Water in the tire, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> cool. It's a special application. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. Well, what else do you have here? Here we have some some uh, more normal uh, tractor uh, tires that we, we use for for normal tractors. Wait a minute. Can I fit in there? <laughs> yeah, you could. Let's let's yeah. try. Okay. Let's <laughs> come here. Let's see. Let's see. You want to see? You want to see a, sm a small Asian in a tire? <laughs> oh yeah. This is a this is a nice place to chill out. <laughs> yeah. Really. Oh. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, I see that you guys have. Well, some of you guys probably recognize this this dimension. It's for i3, right? It's specifically for i3, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's something that we developed and, and produced only for for i3 so far. And that was uh, it was quite quite. It, it's always sort of a um, a guessing game when uh, a, a car producer manufactures a new car, because in some some cases we have. Uh, we have to like produce some some specialty tires like this. <laughs> well, it has F rating. Really? Yeah, wet grip. That's because it's so narrow. Oh, hmm. Okay. But and here we have uh, an SUV. But <laughs> well, this is what kind of car uses these usually? It's more more specialty uh, specialty car. Like this as well. Uh, I think it's bigger, a bigger Mercedes or something. Ah. But it's it's. Uh, uh, more a rarity that uh, that we sell some of those because it's it's not a huge market for it. <laughs> we sell, of course, a lot more of the 19, yeah. 19 inch for for i3. So you see, well, you can see uh, if you guys are quick uh, Asians, you can see that 315. That's and this is 155. So you can, if you take one more, yep. let's see how, just just to illustrate how narrow the i3 tires are. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> two tires. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, cool, cool. Yeah. You guys seem to have everything about tires. <laughs> we have the most sizes that, uh, that are, are required. Yeah. Especially for the winter market, that's, uh, that's where we, uh, we, we have the uh, best grip of the market. And, and of course, then we need the products as well. Okay, and you guys recognize these. These are the wheel caps for the 18 inch uh, Model 3 rims. So, uh, you actually put them on after, afterwards or 
Yeah, absolutely. When we uh, when we have balanced the tire, we put these on the rims, and then we uh, we put on cardboard, same way as you see here. Okay. To pr to protect both the rims and the, and the capsule. So they don't. They, these are not attached to the rim from the factory. No, we, they can't be because we we need to balance balance the the, the rims and the complete wheels after we mounted them. Oh. Then these can't be. Uh, these have to be attached afterwards. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. And what, is it just one size for these uh, cardboard uh, pieces? Or? No. This is something that we, when you get the rims to Norway, uh -huh. they're all, most of them are, are stacked in in cardboard boxes. So to reuse the uh, the cardboard, we we cut it up manually and then attach <laughs> it like this to all the all the complete wheels to to make sure that they, they don't get damaged during transport. Well, really? So these are just recycled, well, well, reused yeah. cardboard? Yeah. Huh. We cool. would have to scrap them either way, so it's better that, that we use it like this. Nice. All right, now we have the new tires on MC Hammer. Oh, nice. So we have the Hawker Black. Oh, is this a, an M? Oh, no. no, I, like, I kind of like that one. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's just a touch mark so that we, uh, we, we, we do this on, the, on all the Hawker Black tires. Uh -huh. So they have this, this insert, it just looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> so the Hawker Black series is for performance, right? Yeah, that's, a, that's what we call UHP, ultra high performance tires. Mm -hmm. And we, whenever we, we develop a new tire, we, our main goal is to make the, the, the safest tires for, for the, the, the environment where they're going to be used. So we pr produce different tires for, for Nordic conditions than we do for, for uh, Central European conditions. So these tires have been tailor-made for the, the environment that we have up here. In, in Norway, the, we, uh, all Norwegians are fairly known with the big uh, wheel um, wear mm, in yeah. the roads. Yeah. That is because of, uh, of all the use of, of studded tires in Norway. Mm. So we develop our tires to, to suit the climate, both with the heavy, heavy rains and with also the, the lower temperatures. Even now that, that, is, that there has been uh, fairly hot, hot for quite some time, even though uh, it's still quite cold in the mornings, Hmm. We need tires to, 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 that have the best safety uh, with all the different conditions that we can, we can run into. So I'm, I'm hoping that you are going to be happy with, the, with your new tires and that they suit your, your need. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to Germany this weekend, or actually tomorrow I'm heading for Germany. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to test them at 260 kilometers per hour yeah. uh, and also do a, a maximum acceleration test. So is there, uh, is there some kind of burning time or what do you call it, the, the drive-in time on these tires? Yeah, after mounting, we always recommend that you, you spend at least 50 miles, 50 uh, miles in Norway. Uh, uh, 500 kilometers. 500 yeah. kilometers before you do heavy acceleration or, or braking. Ah, okay, okay. The reason for this is to, uh, so that the, the mounting paste that has been, been used to mount tires on the rims dry out so that you don't shift the, the, the placement of the tire on the rim because that can, can result in, in, in uh, vibrations in, in the car and in, in, the, in the wheels. Oh, I wonder if I did that with the previous, the, the high fly. I'm not sure. Hmm. So we recommend that you drive 500 kilometers before you do any, any acceleration tests. Okay, okay. <laughs> but but you, you, can drive, you can drive in 200 kilometers in, in Germany, that's fine. Okay. But it's the acceleration and the braking. Ah, that, ah okay. That shift the, the, the placement of the yeah. tire. Yeah, well, on, on a side note, you know, um, I used to have studded tires, yeah. and they require to be driven at maximum 80 kilometers per hour, right? Uh, we don't have any, any maximum uh, speed on, on studded tires, but for studded tires, when they are mounted we, we, when, and they're new, we recommend the same for, for studded tires so that the, the studs, uh, they, their fitment within the tire hmm. is, is adjusted so that it, the, the studs are, are sitting correctly in, in the tires. Hmm. So we recommend 500 kilometers there as, there as well. Hmm. And uh, uh, could you tell me a little bit about uh, the, the recommended tire pressure? Yeah, we recommend that you increase the tire pressure with between 5 and 10% from what the, the, the car producers recommend. Okay. The reason for this uh, is that uh, all tires leak a little bit air, uh, and when the tire pressure drops, the risk of, of getting a, a, a pinching damage or something on, on the, uh, the tire if you drive into a pothole or something, increases if you have lower tire pressure. Okay, so 10% more than what it says in, in the inside of the door, right? Yeah. Hmm, but uh, well, can, that, can that cause a more wear in the middle of the tire? Then you have to go higher than 10%, but if, okay. you go, if, if the tire pressure gets lower than the recommended, then you can have the, the risks of, of having low pressure is, is higher than having a little bit too much. 
hmm. because it, 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 uh, you can feel it in the car if you go too high, <laughs> if you have too much air pressure, because the, you lose some of the, the give in the sidewall that, uh, that sort of softens the, the, the ride, uh, the performance of the car. Hmm. But if you have too little low in, uh, too low air pressure in the tire, you get uh, wear on the, on the sides, both sides, inside and out. But having a little bit too high air pressure, that's always beneficial. Wow. Okay. And that also reduces some of the of the um, of the rolling resistance. In yeah. The well, if Nokian says that we should do it, then I think we should do it. Yeah. Try it out. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, the people at Nokian, many of them are followers. I think also more of your uh, employees, I mean, one of the colleagues, they already went home, right? Because it's Friday today. Yeah, it's only yeah. one o'clock. Huh? Only one o'clock is uh, finished work here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, one o'clock, uh, <laughs> Friday. Well, it's, a lo it's also a long weekend this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so actually, many people, they also own Model 3. So. Yeah, so nice, you have a Model X, uh, another Model X. Yeah, so you guys have Model X. I think they want to sell him in me. Uh, so this one, actually, I just noticed that while you have the, you have the red, um, uh, what's it called again? This red rim protector. Yeah, the rim protector. And uh, wh what the heck is what the heck is this? <laughs> New Tesla. Which one? Dolphin. Well, it's a, it's a shark fin. Shark right? fin, yes. yeah. But what, it, does it do anything or? No, only uh, put a uh, 3M. Uh, I, I, I just was pimp ah, he pimping, he's pimping, <laughs> nice, <laughs> like a boss, yeah, cool, cool. All right, MC Hammer is good to go, so thank you so much for the fact, well, I mean the warehouse tour. It's been a pleasure to have you here, Bjorn, and uh, welcome back. Yes, thank you, thank you. So, um, anyway, uh, now we have the Hakka Black tires on, so, uh, for you guys who don't know, I've been testing the high fly tires and now I'll be testing the Hakka black tires. So remember, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Talk to you guys later then. See ya.